Hi there, Blooming Witch here, and today is Tarot Tuesday. As you can see, I'm not actually at home. I'm uh, house sitting at the moment. Well, I'm dog sitting and house sitting, which is very nice. Change of scenery. So, the card which flew out of the pack today is the Nine of Swords. You may be looking at this card and feeling it's a little bit doom and gloom. And it is, it, it's the energy from it, it is quite dark. But I do feel that it's quite appropriate for this time of the year as we are seeing shorter days and a lot of darkness. But it is not that long till we reach the winter solstice, Yule, and it's the shortest day and from there on, the days will be getting longer again. You'll be getting more light. So this card, when you look at it, you see that this person is sat on a bed. She's surrounded by books. And for me, it's a feeling of being overwhelmed. And I think everybody, um, feels worse when they're not in a good place at night, during the night, you can't sleep. And I don't know about anyone else, but lately I've had problems sleeping. In fact, last night was probably the best night's sleep I've had in months. Um, but sometimes when you can't sleep, you start worrying about things. And this is kind of what this card is suggesting, that you may be feeling overwhelmed, um, I'm actually relating it to the time of year as well, and we're heading up to Christmas. Um, and I think a lot of pressure is put on people to buy gifts. And at the moment, with the cost of living, I do feel that people are starting to feel even more stressed about it. And I feel that, that that's what this message is about this week. What I would say is you have a light here, you have the sun, you've, there's a bird and the bird's looking out the window and it, it's looking to the dawn, it, it's showing the light. So therefore it's saying that look to the light, there will be better times. And I feel my message for you this week is if you are feeling that Christmas approaching is really stressing you and you, you you know you feel you can't afford to buy gifts for people it's not about that it shouldn't be about that and your real friends people that really understand you family shouldn't really expect off you I think it's far nicer to message someone to phone someone and um, you could be honest with them and say that you know you you can't maybe afford to gift this year but the other thing you could do if you did want to gift people is to look in charity shops. It's something I would do and do, do. <laughs> um, or make something, be creative. Um, and something like that is far more, it is from the heart. It's not just going out and buying something for the sake of it. So I think that could take the pressure off you. Um, if that is what's causing any sort of overwhelming feelings at the moment. Also, um, I do feel that if you've got a lot on, I know lately I've had a lot on my mind and it, it does become overwhelming. I do feel writing lists really helps and, and thinking, well, what do it, what is the main priority? And then thinking, you know, ordering the priority, priorities, no, prioritizing. So order what needs to be done first. And therefore you can tick it off as you go. And it does really help to relieve that over, overwhelming feeling. Um, because there's nothing worse than waking up in the night thinking, I've got this, 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 and this to do. And your mind's working overtime. So yes. Those are my ideas, my thoughts for the week. Get in touch. Let me know how you're doing. I'm always here to listen, as you know. But above all, remember, life is for living. Till the next time.